hello, my name's Alicia. Uh, welcome to my channel. I have July's empties for you, and I think I have some really good ones here. Um, I hope your day is going well. Today has been, I don't know, a crazy day of just like household chores. Uh, I washed the dog, I washed the couch. Um, I don't know how you're, if you have a dog, um, Teddy's getting older, but man, he knows it's bath time. You can't even say the word. He runs and hides trying to drag him outside to the hose. Oh my goodness. He kept, his legs would go out both front and back. I mean, you would think I was bringing him to the guillotine. Um, anyway, but yesterday or the day before I was sort of getting it in my head. I wanted to do a couch makeover. Um, so I've been going to like Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Target, looking for throw pillows. And I'm not really finding anything I like, especially because, um, Minimum, they seem to be $25 for two, and that's at like TJ Maxx, you know, whatever. You know, at Target, they're like 25 bucks a piece, but there's nothing perfect. Um, and then I got the idea this morning, because um, the pillows I do have, it's not the pillows that's the problem, uh, it's more the fabric. Like when we got our new couch, I wanted it to be, and it's new, it was like a year and a half old at this point. But it's, I wanted it to be a place like cozy, comfy to, um, just hang out and you know watch tv and at that time i got pillows based on color but they were scratchy and uncomfortable and so today i, I got on amazon and i could and the, um, the pills i have have zipper covers so for a fraction of the cost i can just get new covers i don't know why i never thought of that also i think yesterday I and mean, by the time you watch this it'll be who knows when um but this month was that amazon prime and so i've seen a couple youtubers show this little Bissell thing to clean the couch. And honestly, had it been a little cheaper, it would have totally been an impulse buy, but it was like $86. And then I kind of got another light bulb is that we have a carpet cleaner and I'm sure it has an upholstery attachment. So I was cleaning the couch today. So anyway, it has been sort of a at home errand kind of day. Uh, but anyway, let's get into all of my empties. And I feel like this is going to be a long video we will see. The first one isn't so much as an empty, but I'm trying to be better at letting go of products that don't work for me. And I'm kind of a little disappointed. This is the Bobbi Brown mascara. Um, and when I first got this, I think, well, I, I think Ipsy. Um, I don't know. I was for sure. I was in love with it. I was, I just, in my mind thought I would buy a full size. As I've used it, I'm liking it less and less. Um, this is what the wand looks like. A very huge plus for me is that it comes off easy at night. I mean, I probably don't even need makeup remover. It comes off so nice. Um, and this is called their Smoky Eye Mascara. Um, it does, especially in the beginning, it separates really well. I would say if you want a dramatic look, this would not be for you, but I'm, I tend to not be in the dramatic look category. So again, I loved it and it's not bad, but as I've been using it, it's like, um, like one of my Maybellines. The first coat looks beautiful. I could stop. It's very easy to put on. The first coat is good. This one, you, it's getting finicky. Like when you put their first coat on, now there's a couple lashes clumping. So I have to work to get those out. The first coat I would not be happy with. And to be honest or fair, I do normally put two coats on anyway, but you have to put two coats on and you've been, for whatever reason, all of a sudden you have to work at it. And this is, I definitely would say under six months. Um, so I do not believe this is like gone bad or anything like that. Um, so this was one where on my first impressions, I would have raved about it. And now I'm just like, no. And so this is probably just gonna go because I don't wanna keep, like I just put it on for today and it looks fine, but I don't wanna have to be fooling around, trying to get out clumps or trying to make it look its best. Um, so sadly, I thought I discovered a favorite, but it is going away. All right. And onto the floor. All right, so um, sometimes I get in these things where I really wanna use things up. And this was, I think this was like the last four weeks um, so I've been using this quite regularly just because I was almost getting um, to the end. Christopher Robin. This is an awesome product. I've always heard about Christopher Robin. It's supposed to be a good brand. 
I've gotten several things in my boxes and literally hate them. And hate's not really a good word. They just don't work for my hair. They probably work for somebody's hair. This product I love. It was awesome. This is the Regenerating Mask with Prickly Pear Oil. Let's see, it's supposed to, you know, revitalize, deeply nourish. So basically it's a very super thick conditioner. Um, if it wasn't for the price, I might consider repurchasing it, but I believe this is around the 50 to $60 mark. It is very thick. You get 8.4 ounces. Um, it lasted a long time. Um, I really liked it. Now I will say, I think personally, at least for my hair, this is better as a um, deep conditioning mask once in a while. Like I said, I was almost out. So I was kind of trying to use it and I, I only, I shower, or I wash my hair twice a week. I have used this like four times in a row. I think it was getting to where it was weighing my hair down. So this might be meant actually for more of a conditioning treatment. This was awesome. I really loved it, but it's just too expensive. I have other condition conditioners that are cheaper. And honestly, I probably like a little bit better, but this was absolutely awesome. So this is something that I used to use that I don't really use anymore. I had pulled them out to try them again. Um, honestly, they had gone bad. I mean, they're probably like three years old, but when they are fresh, I really like these. So if you have a mustache and you don't want to go to, you know, get them waxed or whatever, these work really, really well. Um, and I really recommend them. Um, kind of has directions back here. You warm them between your hands, put them on. And I do have some tough, thicker ones. And so they don't always get everything. Um, but I do really like this. It's a cheaper alternative. Now I just use like a little, um, one of those circular, like little shavers. And I like that and that lasts. Um, with this, you kind of have to wait until the hair is long enough kind of a thing. And that's a drawback. Um, but really, I recommend those. Um, and I use those for many years. Holy Grail for me, um, this is the Purology Strength Cure. I do not like their purple one as much, but this is awesome. I love it. Um, I do believe at the store, this is like a 30 some dollar uh, shampoo. Thankfully, my hairdresser passes her discount onto us. So for me, this is $26. Um, my hair is so much better on this. It lasts, you know, doesn't get greasy. I love this. For me, worth every penny. So this is a bust, um, physician's formula. I believe you're going to see me talk about it in one of my videos before I get to this, but I am just tossing this. Um, I was looking for a blush and I really should have just went right to the store and got what I really wanted, but I am often sometimes wanting to be cheap when I really shouldn't be, but this is butter. Believe it. And somewhere on here, it basically is saying um, it's like a cross between a cream and a powder, like the best of both worlds. And maybe that was just on the display at Target. No, this is a powder. Something that also drew it to me was that you get multiple shades. And so I like the concept of that because I didn't know what shade I should get for me. Um, you can rub, I just, I, I did this in, I think the tips of whatever video I did this in, like I put my finger on it. When I put it on the back of my hand, I see nothing. When I put it on my face, I see nothing. I don't know. I will also say it's kind of annoying that this pops up. I mean, they do give you a mirror and there was like a little brush it came with. I would not apply it with that brush, but that's just me. So this was a fail, $12 really down the drain. Uh, I wouldn't even pass it on because I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. But for me, there is just not pigment. Like, I don't want to be crazy, but if I'm going to use a product, I might as well see a difference. Um, so that was a bust for me. This is a product I love, and I think possibly it's just expired. Um, I have gotten this in one of my boxes, and this um, is like a jelly mask. And it has some form of retinol, like one of the lesser forms. So it's not like necessarily retinol, but it's like a, a form of retinol. Um, this is a multivitamin sleeping mask. And I'm not sure VO, I'm not sure the, that, um, but this worked awesome. It is kind of sticky. So you definitely put this on the last before you go to sleep. 
Um, here lately, it just hasn't been working. So I don't know whether it's expired, um, but I really did enjoy it. And whatever, I had looked up at the ingredient at the time. And it's one of those ones where if you think you're sensitive to retinol, this ingredient, they suggest you try. And I really did love it. And when it was newer, it did, I did notice a difference. I just, it's been like, whenever I use it here lately, it's, I've been not seeing those. And I think maybe it's expired. I don't know. I love this. Um, I This was like a whim kind of on Ipsy. They had like a little um, trio of their products for like $18 and one of their other products I really like. So I am really starting to like this brand of Benton. Um, it's the Aloe Hyaluron Cream and it's just a really nice moisturizer. Um, I may save this package for a possible repurchase, but right now I have enough moisturizer so I don't need to repurchase it. But I really like it. I think it soothes the skin. Um, and I would definitely, um, if it came up on Ipsy again for a good price, I would definitely buy it. This, um, I love. I don't know how many times I've repurchased it. This is at least my third one. And I'm definitely saving this tube to remind me to repurchase it once I get lower on some of my other moisturizers. But I love this. This is Alicia Koi. And I got this in my face, Tori. And you can get it on Amazon for about $16. It's the Tetra Force Cream. Uh, I love this. It's a light green color. It has, um, let's see if I can get some out, uh, a slight scent. No, I don't think I can get any out. Um, but I don't think it, it's perfume. I think it's just a natural ingredient. It just, to me, reminds me of a spa. I just love, like, I almost put it in my hands, rub it together, and then breathe in and then just put it on my face. Um, I love this. It is calming. And um, anyway, I will definitely repurchase this. I always want a tube. I just have a couple moisturizers that I need to work through before I actually buy some more. Bliss. Um, I really enjoyed them. I don't remember whether it was this Christmas or last Christmas, um, but I went kind of crazy getting the Target like Christmas gift packs. And I tried Bliss and I pretty much liked every single product. Um, they have it at Walmart, they have it at Target. I think they have more products than either one of those stores actually sell. Um, vitamin C is very hard for me. Generally, it causes me redness, irritation. Uh, this did not, like, uh, and like I said, this was like a time, the last four weeks where I'm like, I wanna use things up and this has been around a while. I use this every day in a row and it caused me no problems. This is the Bright Idea Vitamin C Plus Peptides. Uh, love it. So like I said, I highly recommend Bliss. I think it's kind of a, you know, I won't say low end because it's definitely, I would say maybe mid, or mid range, but 15 to $20 for their products and really good ingredient list. Like all the uh, good ingredients are higher up. Um, so if you want to go a little bit above drugstore, but you don't want to go like crazy, like expensive, I think Bliss is a really good brand to try to get a little bit of a nicer product. Trader Joe's candles. Maybe some of you guys have used them. You can tell me, I don't know. I got this one for my birthday and I really liked it. And I, so this one I actually enjoyed, um, but then I went to Trader Joe's to buy more. And they had a little like three piece, three piece mini candles. And I didn't like the scents personally, but I bought them anyway, like strawberry mint and like, I don't know, something basil. I don't know. This candle I really enjoyed and it smelled really nice. The other three, I couldn't hardly tell there was a scent unless you were like a one foot away from the candle. Um, so I'm kind of a mixed bag on our Trader Joe's candles worth it or not. I don't even know if I should keep mentioning Epsom salt. You know, I love it. And this is just the Target Epsom salt. It's cheaper than Dr. Teal's. I think it works just as fine. Um, and even the Target one has a resealable, resealable bag. Mm. All right, Inky List um, is one of, I think it's made in England and it's a cheaper brand Sephora carries. This is their retinol. Now, a pro for this retinol is it's more of a serum. I use the um, Neutrogena, and it's a very thick cream. Like, you almost don't need moisturizer once you put it on. This is a very thin, kind of lightly yellow. And um, so this is one that I feel like you could layer. Like, you could use it and then add more to it. Um, there's probably nothing wrong with this. 
I just prefer the Neutrogena. Like when I put the Neutrogena Retinol on, I wake up and I feel like my skin's instantly brighter. This, I didn't notice a difference. Didn't mean it wasn't working or anything. Um, but for me, uh, I just prefer my Neutrogena. So this might be one reason I would not repurchase the Christopher Robin. I absolutely 100% recommend this mask. It is, I think, $8 and change at Walmart. It is Heritage by um, Mindy McKnight. This is a, I mean, a gem of a product. This is, I don't even think there's a reason to open it for you. But it is super thick, maybe even thicker than Christopher Robin. Um, and for, I think, probably $9 by the time tax gets in. It lasts a long time. I love this. I will definitely repurchase. I just have been trying to finish up some products before I buy again. But... Um, I liked her shampoo. I think this is a very affordable, great, great brand um, at Target. I mean, not Target, Walmart. All right, Polish Choice. This is absolutely going to be a repurchase. Um, I, again, I'm just waiting to, until I need, need it again. Um, I love Polish Choice in that they have sample sizes for, I think, like, if not every product, 90% of their products. And generally, you can find sales. I, I would not buy something full price. There's almost all the time at least 20% off, generally free shipping. This is a recommendation. I thought I had found my holy grail of another Polish choice, and I do like it. This um, is the Super Light Daily De a Recall Defense, SPF 30, and then it has like antioxidants and other skincare. It is, and I don't know how it would look if you were more tan or, you know, less pale than I am, but you can see it is lightly, or maybe not even, maybe more than lightly tinted. Um, they do not bill it as a tinted moisturizer, um, and it blends in. Like, so it does not really look like you put on makeup, but it just slightly elevates your skin. Like, your skin just looks better and again not necessarily a makeup look so here's kind of how it looks and then it just blends in i think it blurs the pores um and i don't know my skin just looks better now this is a slightly thicker or i shouldn't say slightly thicker than the other one um if you had oily skin i'm not sure i would recommend this but i just love how my skin looks um i think it just takes it up a notch I am not a makeup wearer 100%. If you wore makeup, I don't think that you would need this, although I'm sure it would look great under makeup. But I just love that my skin looks better. Uh, it makes my natural skin look better. So I definitely am saving that tube to repurchase again. This was more of just a moan and groan. So I got, this was like a sample from Tarte. But like, are you kidding? Like you had a little itty bitty thing. And I suppose maybe if you just wanted to color match, this would be good for color matching. But that is all the product you got. So I think it must be just for color matching. Um, but how would I know if I want this or not? And this was supposed to be, I think, their shape tape um, sunscreen. Come on, Tart. If you want me to buy your product, I need to, a full application on my face. All right, I was trying to find a dupe for, um, I can't think of his name, Dr. Somebody, not Dr. Brandt. Anyway, I can't think of it, but he has a redness cream. He has a whole line of redness, and I can't think of his name. But anyway, I was trying to find a dupe for this. So this is at Target, maybe other places. This is by Hero Rescue Balm Color Correcting Cream. Um, it works, but... It oxidizes or something to a color darker than I am. So it is a green cream and you rub it on and then very much like the other one that I cannot think of the, the name of it. Um, it's supposed to like match your skin color. Again, I don't know if it works for darker skin, but I think maybe just us paleys are the only ones that have redness. I could be wrong, but this is too dark or yellow. There's something like, it's just not worth it. This was a lot cheaper, like $12. And the other product I'm referencing is like $50 or $60. Um, so I was hoping this was going to be a dupe, 
but I don't know. It just turns my skin uh, not a good color. It, it, I, it's, it's more than just too dark. Like, too orange plus too dark. Ugh. Anyway, no good. So we had a sample of the Amica Flash, and it's basically a shiny... Basically, it's supposed to make your hair shiny. It is super liquidy. You're supposed to put it on, I think, between shampoo and conditioner. It absolutely worked. It absolutely made my hair shiny. But it, it didn't feel like it conditioned or did anything else. So I have, like, a serum I already used to make my hair shiny. So this is the Flash Insta Shine Mask. I don't know how much it is. But honestly, I wouldn't pay much because it's just liquidy and I'm not sure it does anything. And Amika are usually pricey. So I just don't find it a necessary, a necessary thing. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before. It's my favorite deodorant. Not that I've tried too many out there. I have deviated occasionally. This is what my mom used. So I've used this from day one um, and I love it. All right, Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty. So I thought, I, my eyes are still being dry. I thought at the time maybe it was because of mascara because in the last year I wore it every day to work. And then over this, so then I kind of like decluttered quite a bit. They're probably old anyway. Um, but my eyes are still dry. I took a break in the summer and it doesn't seem to matter. But we got this in an Ipsy. And theoretically you can use them, I think both at the same time. There's a curl and length and then there is a volume. I tried it one time together, hate. Uh, I'm not a big volume girl though, so the volume side kind of looks like that. And I never used it except for that one time. And I did really enjoy the curl and length. It really did a good job, but I don't need, I don't want to waste money on a double ended product when I'm not going to ever use the other end. I just did not like them together. And I'm not, I don't think you can buy them separately. It's like together or not. So I, for me personally, I would not buy this again. I, I, I didn't even really finish it. Um, but my goal isn't volume. So um, I don't know. Glam Glow. This product is awesome, but scary. But it ends up being awesome. So um, let's see. The Youth Mud. And so this was one of those products where I thought I will get out of my comfort zone and use it. And I think I have one use left. That's why I just included it, but I'll, I'll, I'll finish it up. I'll put it back in the bathroom. It is this crazy looking mud that I'm not sure you can see it, but it has like big chunks of like seaweed, which I will say are kind of off-putting. They just glop onto your face. Um... So this is a mask that you let dry and it also has grit and then it also has chemical exfoliant, which is why it scared me. And somewhere, let's see on the package, like a thin, even layer up to 10 minutes. I don't think I ever made it past four or five minutes. So it does say tingling is normal. So I tried this. I'm telling you, I think burn. There was no tingle. It was beyond tingle. Sting, burn. I was like, Oh, shoot. Uh, my skin's going to be red and peeling. So it tingled. It doesn't, I don't think I wear it much more than four minutes. My skin looks awesome. I love it. My skin, it looks smooth, etc. I doubt I would buy it again just because I prefer a plain clay mask and I have a favorite, but it works and it is scary because it burns. And in my opinion, burns. And I really thought the next day I am going to just wake up with like redder than red, irritated skin. But I actually really like it. Um, I really don't like, I don't know where the, those chunks of seaweed. I don't know if they actually do anything. But there's just random big chunks of seaweed that then they fall out into the sink. I don't know. But good product. I'm glad I went out on a limb. So I was so excited. I think I got this in my uh, Glam Bag X. This was the Tarte um, Concealer, Creaseless Concealer. Um, I, I don't know. It is so thick. Cakey is not the right word. Um, but when you're putting it on, it just feels like thick and tacky. I don't know. 
whether they're all like that. I got a bum one. I don't like it. Uh, it's just thick and thick. I don't know. So anyway, I was excited to try it and I gave it, I don't know, five or six goes, but it was just not for me. As always, an honorable mention for Bath Bevy. I love their products. They have really good quality bath products. This is, I believe, their shower body scrub, soap scrub. Wonderful. I use it, um, and I think that's what's le leaking everywhere. Um, I use that on my legs before I shave, on my back. Love. All right. I had tried this once before, but I got a sample of it, so I tried it again. This is the Amica Dry Shampoo. I know some people love it. For me, it was not for me. It does not soak up enough oil for the price point. If this was cheaper, like $10, I'd probably tell you it's wonderful. But for $25, I have other dry shampoos I love. Redken is my number one. This does add shine and I think a light scent. But for me, it does not soak up enough oil for the price point. All right, this one I'm going to save. I, I think I'm going to splurge. Um, this was the Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I almost purchased it. Amica had a sale, but you could either get free shipping or you could get the sale. And shipping is $10. And uh, I wish they'd sell it through Amazon or something so I could get free shipping. If they had free shipping, I would have pulled the trigger already. Um... But for the sale, then with the shipping, it was pretty much the same price. I believe the full size of this is $48. And all, in all honesty, I only got one use. Um, this little tub had about one use. This was better than my Pureology conditioner. I mean, my hair was phenomenal afterwards. So I definitely want to repurchase this, but I'm going to try to wait for like an Ulta or Sephora sale. And I didn't even think about checking on that there anyway, because I think they often offer free shipping. Um, but $48 plus $10 shipping, I just couldn't do it. Um, but I'm going to save this container because it was, I think, the best conditioner I've ever used. All right. You know, I've been having dry eyes and they were becoming unbearable. Uh, I haven't, I, my, I have a doctor's appointment coming up in a couple weeks to hopefully figure it out, but my friend suggested these and they have definitely made my quality of life better. So if you have dry eyes and you've tried, like I've tried a gazillion cheaper drops, these are about $10 at Walmart. These are preservative free. My friend recommended, like some people have like reactions to preservatives. So these are pre preservative free Thera Tears. The one downside is they have these little packets. And so this is not one use. For me, each one of these little vials is probably at least four uses. So now I just have these things sitting on my bedside table, which is sort of a nuisance. But these are the best I've used so far. I don't know if it's the preservative free part. I don't know what it is, but these are awesome. And they've made me be able to cope with my dry eyes. I have so many things, guys. So many things. All right, this is one that I really enjoyed. It's just old and I'm trying to get better about getting rid of things that are older. And I'd already gotten some new um, foundation. But Maybelline, I have yet, except for maybe their concealer. And I think maybe it's just me and concealer don't get along. Maybelline is a really good drugstore brand. Like They have some of my favorite mascaras. Um, but I really liked this. This is the Dream BB Fresh 8-in-1 Skin Perfector SPF 30. I really liked it. Uh, it's just expired and time to go on. So these were nail masks. I don't recommend. Uh, it was fun to try, but you were supposed to put them on. They came in little sleeves. Literally this little, like it was so hard getting them on. Then once they're on, you, they can't really do anything. It had a tiny dab of lotion and maybe slightly better ingredients in lotion. So I was happy to try this. I do not recommend buying this if you see this at the store. You could literally just put lotion at home and like put your hand in a plastic bag or something. There is no reason for this. Um, so not too excited about that. All right, so Alginist. This is my new love of uh, skin uh, um, eye cream. And so when I bought eye cream, it came with samples. I loved this. 
I'm a little afraid I'm going to like all Algenis products because they're pricey. I would say mo minimum of like $50 or more. Um, this is the all, and they have like, I think a trademarked like ingredient. So algoronic acid, they have a lot of things that seem to like have the A with alginist. I don't know whether it's proprietary or not. And then collagen. Now this is a sleeping collagen. It was so like, it felt so good on my skin, but it's also a tiny foil packet. So if I'm going to plunk down $60, I would have liked a little bit bigger of a sample so I could really see, but I really did enjoy it. Really, really did enjoy it. I know if you guys have seen my empties for a while, you know, I love this. Now this is one I've been trying to get better about using the things I actually love, but this one, um, I probably only get one out once a quarter because I like squirrel it away. I don't know what I'm saving it for a rainy day. I don't know. I need to stop that. This is awesome. I love it. Like every time I use it, I am blown away by how much I love it. So I really, um, my goal is once I finish the tub in my shower that I'm going to start using these exclusively because why do I have them in my, under my cabinet, in my bathroom? I mean, what am I saving them for? I need to use them and I just absolutely love it. This is the Foxy Bay hair mask. They're I think eight packets for $28. So it is pricey, but I love it. One of these does go for my hair, but barely. I have very thick hair. So if you had long hair, you'd probably need two of these, but oh, it is awesome. Um, this is another thing I got, Pacifica. I am not, I think, I, I don't wanna do a blanket statement and say I'm not a fan of Pacifica, but that may be the case. They do have lots of lovely, you know, cruelty-free, etc. They have lots of scent. Uh, and, um, let's see what, the, ugh, I don't know. Like, I feel like the things I've tried from them are heavily scented and this one, like, I feel like somebody like some, I don't know. I want to say a man, but I don't, shouldn't necessarily, kind of, but some person high level up that really had no idea what was going on, looked through the news trends and was like, oh, we need this and this and this because they're like the hot ingredient and then literally poured them all into this. Um, baby glow, brightening face wash, plus AHA, plus vitamin C and vanilla. No, like this just irritated my face. It was way too much. I don't know why we need an AHA and a vitamin C. Uh, plus to me, their scent stuff is too scented. Um, so I guess happy to try it, but so far the things I've tried for Pacifica, I can say I'm happy to try it and then please no more. Uh, this is just decluttering. This was really nice. Uh, Sophia and Belle. Um, it's like a lip gloss, but I'm just not that into lip gloss. So I could keep this, but I'm just kind of decluttering. I have other products for my lips that I like more. Another awesome brand. Prior to using the Purology, now that I use nicer hair care, I don't need as many of these sprays. This is awesome. Um, if you need something conditioning, but weightless, this is it. Pure Brazilian. This was their spray leave in conditioning with keratin. The only downside is that I haven't bought something from them for uh, probably two years, but at least back then, again, they had like a $10 shipping charge. So that's the only bummer. And I understand shipping is expensive but it's hard it's hard to spend like you know 25 30 dollars and then basically a third of that again on shipping but love this brand i've tried several of their things love it's it's so awesome all right i don't even know this is worth mentioning because i don't think it's a brand that people would know but cella this was terrible i think it was natural i'm not sure but just a worthless mascara didn't do anything. I mean, worthless. Um, and I found that with most natural ones. I'm not sure if it's a natural or not. Um, terrible. This is awesome. I love Numa. I'm going to save the rest of this for my daughter's hair. Um, but once again, because I have been using better hair care, I don't need all of these creams. Um, but a great product if you like a conditioning cream after the shower. I love Dr. Botanicals. This was pretty awesome. Um, my only complaint for this was that it was a mask, I think really meant to remove and I'm too lazy. So I did kind of leave it on overnight and it was fine. 
Um, if I put it on in the morning by the night when you showered, you could really feel it kind of coming off. So I probably should have washed it off. But I'm too lazy, but I really do love their products. Um, and this was a nice turmeric mask. Satella Asiatica is a nice calming ingredient. And so this, I believe, is about $16 on Amazon. I really liked it. I'm hoping you can see that. Um, but it's, it's just called Centella Unscented Serum. Um, and I pretty much just put Centella in Amazon and it comes right up. I would probably repurchase this again. My only complaint is it goes pretty fast. One of my favorite mascaras, I do believe it's expired and that's the only reason I haven't been liking it lately. And not by expired, but it's basically too old. But this is Maybelline Last Sensational. Um, I loved it. This is like $7 at Walmart. It has a crazy weird kind of horn shaped um, thing, but I really like it and I would continue to buy it again. I forget what the Maybelline was I just got as a sample, but I love it even more. Um, but Maybelline. It's where it's at for drugstore, in my opinion. All right. KAB Beauty. Uh, I wanted to love this, but this was like a highlighter that has the pores. Now, can you guys tell me, is there some trick not to have all of that come out? Um, the only problem with this is, I mean, it doesn't take much and you look like Edward from Twilight in the sun. It, it's like a disco ball. Uh, so, I mean, it doesn't help that it's like that, but I would even just tap it on the lid and you had to be super careful. So this is a beautiful, oh, see, and there it goes. Now my carpet's gonna be highlighted. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful, but I guess it's above my pay grade. I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, they need better packaging or something. My favorite lip oil, I now, I'm liking these companies who will let you do an auto replenishment for cheaper. And so this is a uh, Sugar Rush by Tarte and it is their lip oil. And I now have this on auto delivery every other month. It's normally $15 on auto delivery. It's like 13. Um, this, I prefer the other kind, which is I think a teal and pink, um, but I just love the lip oil. Like I'm hooked to lip oil. I think the packaging is just so cute. So I love that. We are almost to the end. So this was going to be a repurchase before I started getting a bunch of primers, but this still may be a repurchase. This is about $32. This is Laneige um, Glowy Makeup Serum. And I appreciate number one, the super cute packaging for the sample. And number two, I probably got 10 uses. Thank you. Thank you for actually making me like be able to fully try the product. I really liked it. Um, I would consider buying it again, but right after I decided that I got another primer that does glow too from in full size from my Ipsy. So I really don't need to repurchase that. All right. So, um, a while back, probably three or four years, I switched to this style of bra, no underwire. And I forget what kind of popular brand I was buying them from, but they were like $40. They're somewhere between $36 and $45. This is basically a dupe at Walmart for $16. Awesome. Love it. This is by Warner. And um, go by the size. Like they have a size guide. Um, I wear the extra large. I will say for the first day or two, it's a hair tight, but it stretches out per perfectly. Not too much, not too little. So go by the size chart. Um, but this is a dupe for a fraction of the cost. All right. I love brow serums. They actually work. This was, this is new brow and I'm not sure where I got this one in one of my boxes. I think I just got a bum one. The packaging, like you can see the brush fell off. So the brush was so big that it wouldn't go in and then it basically just fell off and then you can't get the product out. So uh, I don't know about new brow, but this particular one was a bust. Another alginist foil sample, which I loved, but again, foil packets, hard to make an opinion, but I'm beginning to think alginist is a really good brand. 
This was, um, oh, and this was just the eye cream, and I love the eye cream. I've repurchased it, worth every penny of the $60. The Triple Algae Renewal Eye Balm. All right, so I think I did this in my last empties as well, but I was very happy at work that somebody put these out. I would wanted to try them. Reese Witherspoon does a lot of commercials for them. Bi Bio Biosance, Squalene, Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. It was nice. I have no complaints. I don't know why I'm showing you the inside. No complaints. This is $52. So it's not nice enough for $52. All right, last two. Juicy Tubes by Lancome. I don't like this color, so I'm decluttering, but I do like the Juicy Tubes um, in like, it's kind of like a pigmented lip gloss. So I like them overall, just not this color. And then EOS or EOS, um, I love their chapsticks, but I prefer the actual stick. I don't like this. Like it was fine in the beginning. I found, I don't know how, I, I just, this is what I ended up picking up, but I don't like that at the end of the day, it makes some weird shape. And then towards the end, you just have this big flat oval that you're putting on your mouth. So I don't know, not a fan, but overall a fan of their formula and their chapstick. I just don't prefer this little egg like thing. Anyway, I know that was a long video. Thank you guys so much for st sticking around. Uh, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.